continue. This is from uh, this actually forties dropped this in uh, the the Discord there, and this is a, a little little bit terrifying. Um, edition.cnn.com wearable electronic skin could monitor your health yeah well let's read or let's just listen to a little bit of this wearing your heart on your sleeve or hand could be the future of healthcare monitoring thanks to an electronic skin or e-skin with led display designed by this man professor takao sumea is an expert in e-skin an industry worth an estimated 4.5 billion dollars in 2019 E-Skin, it's the next generation wearables. E-Skin is thin, lightweight, searchable, and durable. Here at his lab, the Somea Group Lab at the University of Tokyo, he and his team develop different types of e-skin and experiment with applications, including measuring facial expression for speech recognition and tracking biometric signals, like a heartbeat and muscle movement, to improve fitness and health, especially for Japan's increasingly elderly population. The e-skin is made from an ultra-thin, hypoallergenic nano-mesh material with a gold layer. It's attached to a patient's chest with some water and, Somea says, can be worn for a week at a time, picking up biometric signals like a heartbeat. A specially designed belt with a wireless transmitter can send that heartbeat signal to a nearby smartphone, laptop, or directly to the cloud, which Somea says will allow doctors to monitor their patients remotely. To realize the uh, home health Okay, so let's cut it there. Uh, there's a, I, I linked it, so if you want to watch the entire video, it's another couple minutes on that. But uh, you get the idea, right? And so uh, with the horrifying thing of uh, you know the second two tiers of citizenry based on your uh, vaccination status, maybe this is another part of it, right? Maybe you have to wear this uh, electronic skin. And uh, yeah, I mean, like this, these are the types of things that are being used as, you know, like it's good. It's good if like, uh, you, you know, you have, a, um, you have a health condition where you might, you know, you might not be able to go to the doctor as much because you can just monitor your stuff at home from you know looking at this type of thing which is fine but holy shit if you start like requiring people to have health checks to just get into a damn uh, to the bar for instance or to to a costco or something i mean this is a problem this this becomes a social credit score is what this becomes and not only that it becomes a violation of people's privacy on an unreal scale like really like is is a now, and this is the question, right? Does your your actual health record need to be public as part of the the overall public health? 